I love Kentucky. I've only been here about four years. From smallmouth to hybrids to musky, there's all kinds of fly fishing opportunities across the state. It's just a ton of fun. Where we're at today, we're not going to be catching trout, but we are going to be fly fishing. Yeah, fly fishing for smallmouth, yep. We're going to be fishing some lower profile stuff today. Um, we've got some tan bait fish patterns here. In this low clear water chad, tan in the summer tends to work a little bit better than white. We'll fish those in low light situations. Once the middle of the day sets in, um, we'll throw some deer hair frog patterns on top. These create a ton of commotion. Um, the fish can see them really well in the sun when the sun gets high in the sky. And man, when they come up and crush a deer hair frog, better be ready. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's amazing. It's, yeah. that, there's actually some art that, right there. Yeah, that's a yeah, beautiful, yeah. a beautiful fly. Right. These take a long time to tie, but um, it's completely worth it. Um, you know, from streamers to, you know, more complex stuff like this, it's, it's definitely worth it. And, um, you know, the fish will respond well to them. Fantastic. We're going to use some kayaks. We're going to try to get into some yep. spots. Sometimes we'll be in the kayak. Yep. Some areas where we have public access, we'll be out. Let's go get a fight on our hands. Let's go do it. Yeah, awesome. Um, I really want to fish this pool. I don't think we'll catch you fishing here, but I'll re-show really you the presentation here. Are you throwing a very similar? Yeah, we're, uh, we're throwing the same fly this morning. Let's start off. All right. This is a, a minnow changer, a really popular pattern, and it's got some incredible action to it. We're gonna kind of target Chad back eddies like this and um, right in here as well, any slow moving breaks in the water. So I'll kind of aim to the, for the other end of that pole. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, you already got one. We got one, we're hooked up. And this is a decent little fish. Yeah, you're talking uh, about a 13, 14 yeah, inch fish yeah. right off the bat. That was fantastic. Uh, let's see here. All right, yeah. Can't imagine yeah. a better way to start. Yeah. Good stuff. Awesome. That was great. Yeah. All right, let me make a practice yeah. cast here. There we go. Good stuff, dude. There we go. Got one on. You saw that fish, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at there. Probably about a 10, 12 inch fish, yeah, somewhere yeah. in that range. To go in and to hand tie your bait and go out and catch right. something on, there's gotta be something. It's very rewarding. Like whenever I tie like a new pattern or something I make myself and yeah. is not already on the market, come out here and catch fish on it, especially on a deer or turkey I killed. That's cool. It's super cool. That's a great cast, Chad. Yep. Oh, uh, did you feel that? I didn't feel okay. it, no. Oh, eh. I was bringing it in and he smoked it. Oh, man, that was nice for fish. I don't think he felt that one either. I think I pulled it right Why away. don't you put that one back there? It was like right in there and I went to pull it. Oh, oh he got, got it. Rest, he got yeah? it, he got it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this fish wanted it because he yeah. came up and I yeah. literally when I ended my cast and jerked yeah, yeah, the bait up. Yeah. That's bigger than the last one. Yeah. Nice little south eastern smallmouth right there, Chad. Beautiful fish. Oh, got him. Chad, you're tearing him up now. Oh man, man that was awesome. You obviously came here knowing how to fly fish. You've been doing that all your life. Right. Tell me a little bit about how you gathered so much knowledge in just four years. Right. Like today, knowing where to go in, where to sure. go out. Anything from, from blue water trails, information on public access points, put-ins, takeouts. It's just so informative. I mean, if you go to blue water trails on Kentucky Fish and Wildlife, you'll see three or four different floats on the South Fork like we're on today. You know, a million on the green, uh, great fisheries like the Barren and Elkhorn. Um, and it's just it's just a wonderful resource for, for anglers of all kinds. Um, you know, of course you can always, you know, stop in your local fly shop. Resource of the internet and, and looking at spots on Google Maps, 
you know, especially Kentucky Fish and Wildlife. Come on. Got one looking at yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got him. That's a good fish. Yeah. That's the best one of the day right there so far. Yeah, nice fish. Yeah. Yo. Got it? There you go. This is the one we want. Oh yeah. You can see him from here. Oh, uh, stay buttoned. He looks like a really good fish. But you got 16 inches or better? You know, let me get him in. He, he's oh, he a, looks like it. He's, he's fighting a lot harder than he. He looks like a good one. There's oh a good yeah, fish. that's a great fish. Look at the vertical bars on him. Beautiful fish. We've been crushing them on streamers today. Just caught a big one on the streamer. It's the middle of the day though. I think it's time to catch a big one on top water. And we've been seeing some frogs, so we're gonna put our deer hair frog on and uh, see if we can get a big one on this one too. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish, yeah, nice fish. Oh, that looks like a great fish. Yeah, a great frog fish. <laughs> fish on a frog. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I can't tell you how cool it is to sit here and watch you on a fly rod with a frog pattern that you tied that looks absolutely beautiful, fish it the exact same way that I'd fish a frog on a bait caster and catch them out here on the river. Yeah, look at that thing. That's a great fish. Yeah. That's a that's a 17 inch fish. Yeah. Wow, what a small mouth. What a beautiful fish. Doesn't get much better than that. Congratulations, man. I tell you what, that's gotta be rewarding. Yeah. You said it took you 40 minutes to tie that frog. Yeah. It's cool to, you know, kill a deer, right? And then use that hair to tie a frog pattern and catch a fish like this. It's really rewarding. I'll tell you what, Ryder, I've never been on the South Fork and I can't tell you how stunningly beautiful it is. I have been just amazed at the beauty and the smallmouth fishing quality, it's unreal. Yeah, I mean, it's a gorgeous fishery. I mean, when I tell people about this place, I, you know, I talk about the fishing, but you know, you always forget about the scenery. It's, it's pretty unbelievable. Well, hey, thank you. Congratulations on catching that great fish yeah. on your hand-tied frog. Yeah. It's been so a blast. Much. We got to do it again. <laughs>